Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. Uh, this video is um, complementing my recent blog post on unlimited FTP uh, for beginners. So if you don't uh, know anything about FTP, you haven't used it before, you, you, you probably won't need to initially when you first start uh, with WordPress and you've installed WordPress because all the files will be automatically um, installed on your server in the correct locations. But, but down the track, if you need to transfer files uh, to your server, or you need to transfer large images or videos, um, or, or make any edits to CSS or, or, or to the core files of your theme or WordPress, uh, you'll need to learn how to use FTP. And that's the reason I've written this tutorial, because it can be quite uh, complicated to learn FTP. So you can read more on my on my recent blog post, and uh, let's let's just have a look at FTP. Uh, we'll look, we'll take a look at unlimited FTP. It's 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 not uh, it's not very common. Uh, only a f handful of web hosts offer it, uh, but it's very it makes learning FTP a lot easier than using an FTP client. So here I am in cPanel, and. Uh, I'll just scroll down, and this this host is offering uh, unlimited FTP. So there's a there's an icon under files. So we'll just click on that, and it takes a it takes a few seconds to load. Um, it's JavaScript based, and it just logs in automatically. You don't need to set up an FTP client or or, or set up an FTP account in the site manager if you're using FileZilla. With unlimited FTP, you just you just click on the unlimited FTP icon, and you're logged in straight away. So it's connected connected to your server. Um, if we have a look on the right hand side of the screen here, we've got the the, the live server. So this is what your web host is. Uh, you've got your web hosting account here, and uh, and these are all the files on the server, and and the main file. Uh, you'll be dealing with uh, the main directory is a public HTML directory so we'll just click on that and that'll open up public HTML and you can see all my different sites here I've got about 16 different sites and um, I, I, I actually use several different servers and several different hosts so just on this one server I've got about 16 different sites and um, and here they are here. So if I wanted to transfer some files from my server to my to my desktop on my local PC, I could uh, I could locate the file. Um, we'll just open up this site here, and it doesn't have anything in it at the moment. But if I wanted to transfer one of these files, I could just highlight the file, click on the arrow, and I could. Uh, send this to my local uh, desktop on my local PC. So that's how FTP works. It's basically a file transfer program and, uh, and it just makes it very easy to transfer files uh, and directory folders to and from your local uh, file system on your local PC to your web server. So let's, let's just take a, a closer look at it. Um, I'll scroll down here and find, uh, see if I've got some examples. Let's just have a look at a, a manual way of installing a, 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 a theme and a plugin for WordPress. You, you, you can do this within the uh, administration panel of WordPress by logging into your WordPress site, but you can also do it manually by FTP. So I've got a, um, I've, I've got a theme on my desktop on my local PC called Canvas. It's a uh, it's a Woo theme, uh, premium theme. So if I wanted to upload this to uh, one of my sites, um, all I do is I want to I want to I want to take the whole folder with all the contents inside it. So what I can do is just uh, click this arrow here, and this will send the entire um, directory folder and the contents inside it across to my server so it's it's very very simple you can see it started up here and it's uh, it, it depends on your internet speed it can be slow or it can be quicker it really depends on how fast your uh, your internet speed is so that'll be transferring that entire uh, directory folder which contains a premium theme 
across to my, my server uh, for one of my sites. Now let's just take a look at another FTP program. Uh, it's called FileZilla. It, it's very, very popular. It's been downloaded several million times. So it's, a, it's an external F, uh, FTP client, which is free. Uh, you can download it from the, uh, the FileZilla site. And, and once you've installed it, you need to enter in some information, the host name, username, password, and port number, which is normally uh, 21. Uh, you can place this information in the site manager. So if you go up to the top left hand corner and find file and click on site manager, you can put a whole range of different sites in there. And, uh, and every time you want to connect, uh, you've got the details saved in there and you just click on connect so so if you've got multiple sites this is the, uh, the the way to do it now let's just take a look at uh, after we've connected uh, we'll have a look in the file system on the right hand side so you can see this is fairly similar to unlimited FTP but it's it's probably more complicated it's got more windows so so if you're, if you're a beginner it's probably better off to, to uh, Try unlimited FTP. It's it's a lot uh, it's a lot easier to learn that way, I believe. So let's just scroll around here on the right hand side. We're on the uh, we're on the live server. We find public HTML, and this is where uh, this is where a lot of the sites are hosted. So I can go and uh, I'll go into one of the sites here, and we can see all the WordPress folders. These are these are all the WordPress directories with all the uh, WordPress core files in them. Um, you'll probably find that uh, one of the main files that you'll be editing could possibly be the WP config file. Um, you'd need to edit this if you're um, if you're making changes to your database or if you're moving a site from from one server to another. Um, so within uh, FTP, you can simply uh, you can download this file to your desktop and make changes to it, and then you can upload it back into the uh, into the same uh, location that you uh, downloaded it from, and uh, that's the way to edit your your files. Uh, another way would be to uh, access File Manager from within cPanel. So we'll have a look at that. It's probably easy to edit files using individual files using File Manager rather than FTP. And you'll find File Manager under the File section in cPanel. And uh, it, the reason for that is that it, cPanel normally uh, provides a built-in editor. So uh, rather than having to download the file to desktop and then use a text editor to, to edit the file, you can just simply edit it directly from within uh, cPanel. So I'll just take, uh, I'll have a look at one of my sites here, and, uh, and I'll just show you what I mean. So we'll go to the config file, config sample file, you left click on it, highlight it, uh, then right click on it, and click on code edit, and uh, click edit. Now here's the database details, and these, these are what you'd probably be, be changing if, uh, if you're moving servers. So you can simply uh, you can simply edit these these files very very easily uh, within cPanel rather than having to use um, and save the changes rather than to having to use FTP and download it. So it's a lot faster using cPanel. Let's just take a look at one more FTP program, which I recommend you you take a look at if you're uh, if you're into Firefox and you like the Firefox browser. There's a lot of really good add-ons, free add-ons. Uh, one of them is called Fire FTP, and uh, and it's a really simple little uh, FTP program. Here it is. Here, it's just very basic, but it's really quite a nice little FTP program. It's a lot more compact than um, than file, FileZilla, so it's probably easy to find files and easy to learn how to use FTP rather than FileZilla. Um, probably not as easy, obviously, as, as unlimited FTP, but it's something that, that may interest you if, you, if you're looking around for a, 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 an FTP program which is uh, which which you enjoy using and something that's easy to use, something that's uh, you know you can easily become familiar with. So uh, so here it is here. Um, it's it's a bit similar to a FileZilla. You can uh, 
add all your different accounts on the left hand side here you create, create an account so you put your details in there and you'll get those details from cPanel uh, you can create multiple FTP accounts in cPanel and then it's just a matter of putting the details in here the host name and your login username and password you save them and every time you want to connect you just locate the um, the site and uh, that you're wanting to connect to click on connect and, uh, and then it'll con connect to the site so here we are here um, and the right hand side you've got the server left hand side you've got your local file system on your local PC and, uh, and normally most of the time you're going into, um, into the public HTML directory so, so here we are here with all the different files so, so FTP is pretty simple really it's uh, you, you want to try to set up a test account and, and play around for it play around with it for a while and become familiar with it because it's a very powerful tool and you'll at some stage you'll, you'll need to learn how to use it so uh, so there we go just before I go I've also created two more tutorials on FTP they're a bit different to the, uh, the current tutorial and there's links on this current tutorial to the other ones. Um, basically, one of the one of the posts is about how to transfer files, and it's got different sections here. So if you're wanting to learn more about FTP, uh, you'll find all the links on my um, on my current post, which is titled FTP Tutorial Unlimited FTP uh, Beginner's Guide, and that's filed under the Tools category. So uh, so there you go. Cheers.